It's finally here, iMessage on Android without needing any Apple device. You don't need a MacBook, iPad, Apple Watch, or any other fruity tech, just an Android, and that's all thanks to an up and coming messaging app called Sunbird. Now they haven't gone public yet, they're still squashing some bugs, working out a few extra features, making the onboarding process simpler, and just making everything as stable as possible, so that when you can get access to it through the Play Store, you'll get those blue bubbles without any hiccups. What you can access right now though is my new app called How To Personalize. It includes all of my widgets and wallpapers created within my Patreon page. It even includes a new set of widgets, one for showing incoming notifications and another for keeping track of your habits. They're even material you themed, only on my Patreon link down below. Now I've been lucky enough to join the early stages of Sunbird's alpha testing phase, which has allowed me to see if this is the real deal and to show you guys how well it works. I do want to put a disclaimer out there though that since Sunbird is still in its alpha testing phase, not everything you see in this video is 100% finished yet. There could be features that arrive in the public release that are in this version yet, and there could also be features that get removed. Plus, even the app's current design is not 100% finished. The devs have told me that it will be way better in the final release, so nothing is final in this alpha phase. With that said, I can confirm that Sunbird is 100% real and not a scam. They let you send messages to an iPhone user with those same messages being received as blue bubbles, and it works like a charm. Even if you're in a group chat with just iPhone users. So now your iPhone buddies will never know that you're actually using an Android. Apple's chain has finally been broken. Now there are other services that have already accomplished this, and I even made a video a few years ago showing how they managed to do it, but what separates Sunbird is that they don't require you to own or use an Apple device to get this to work. The only thing you need is an Apple ID, which you can easily create within the app or on Apple's website. You can even use an old one you made in the past. And then you'll need to create an account within Sunbird to join in on the fun. That's it. On top of that, they're planning to integrate RCS messaging since they're currently in talks with Google to obtain access to the API. And they're planning to support other messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram DMs, Telegram, Signal, Slack, and much more for a unified messaging service. Pretty awesome. If they can pull this off, this could be the best messaging app that every Android user has been waiting for. Great times to live in. The only downside as of now is that when you message your iPhone buddies, it won't come from your phone number. Instead, it will send with the email address linked to your Apple ID. Not the worst thing in the world since you can just let your friends know that it's you, or you can even send them a V card with all your information. But in the future, Sunbird is working on an eSIM solution that will allow you to port your phone number over to the app. Pretty sweet. Now aside from the basics, Sunbird has a few other iMessage features currently working even in the alpha phase. But before I go over those, I wanted to talk about Torres, the sponsor of this video, since they make the best cases for the iPhone and Android. Their uproar O-Stand cases for the iPhone 14 series are my new favorites. They conveniently come with an O-shaped stand to let you prop up the phone whenever you're out and about and want to watch a movie, take a selfie, join a video call, or just don't want to hold your phone. It can also be used as a grip holder to handle the phone more conveniently with just one finger. And it's super magnetic and five times stronger than any regular magnetic case, making it one of the best options for the MagSafe charger or most other wireless chargers. And even though it does give off a slim profile, it's still extremely tough and reliable with military grade protection and shockproof corners. So it can withstand drops at up to 10 feet without getting a single dent. It's insane. They have different styles to choose from. I personally love their matte black version since it looks professional and clean, but there's also a matte purple version and even some crystal clear cases to let you see the color of your iPhone. So throw away that old and used up case and pick up Taurus's Uproar O-Stand case. I promise it's the best bang for your buck. Anyways, back to the Sunbird app. Some of the other iMessage features that they support are receiving reactions to any of the messages in the conversation. Currently, you can't send reactions though, but that's soon to be fixed in a few weeks. You can also send videos in full HD resolution, something that has annoyed me so much in the past when messaging an iPhone user. You can also send pictures, voice notes, GIFs, and PDFs. The only thing I couldn't send as of now are audio files, zip files, and a few other file formats, 
but the devs have told me that they're planning on making it work in the public release. On top of that, if you happen to message another Sunbird user, you'll have golden bubbles, and those conversations will get even more exclusive features. Like they're planning on enabling a blockchain peer-to-peer -peer payment system with no fees. They're also planning to have almost every iMessage feature working on this app, including typing indicators, red receipts, memojis, and the most exciting one of them all is FaceTime. Yup, they're planning on supporting FaceTime by the time this app goes public. And the devs have confirmed with me that they have gotten it working on their end. It's insane. They're also going to support synced devices so that your Sunbird messages get synced across all your other tech, even your desktop, since they're going to create a web app. And there are a bunch of other features that they're working on to have released before the official launch. Now you're probably asking yourself, how have they managed to pull this off? Well, here's their explanation. They basically created a server infrastructure that plays the role of the middleman between the Sunbird user and the iPhone user. So when you authenticate your iMessage account, you're authenticating it on their server as well. However, your Apple ID and password are never saved as part of the authentication process. It's like locking a door with a key in. The door remains locked, but you get to keep the key. Now, if you're worried that they may be able to read your messages or get your data, you shouldn't. Sunbird's fundamental premise is based on security and privacy. So every message, conversation, or information, including those from iMessage or other messaging apps that are added to Sunbird, are encrypted end to end. They're also not storing any user data on their servers aside from the primary email address that you use to create your Sunbird account. So in other words, the iPhone user is communicating with the server and then in turn, they have created end-to-end -end encryption between the server and the Sunbird app. The messages only exist in an encrypted format on the server for the microsecond that it takes to relay them to the Sunbird app. So messaging has no delay whatsoever and is instantaneous. The only messages that are unencrypted are normal SMS, but these don't flow through their servers at all. They're simply text messages. So it's a pretty safe app that seems very secure. The only thing I hope to do in the future is make it open source. Now, is all of this legal? Well, I was told by the Sunbird team that it is. They clarified that there are already other apps that have put iMessage on Android, even with names sounding absurdly similar to iMessage, and Apple has never really bothered to respond or take action. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now for the users, I wondered if we could get our Apple ID banned if we joined Sunbird and their team told me that it's very unlikely, but still possible. So to stay on the safe side, I would just create a new Apple ID altogether so that if it does get burned, you won't really care. As for when they're planning to release this app, it'll be closer to the summer of 2023. However, you can't get a chance to try it out a few months earlier through their beta program. You just need to sign up on their wait list, which is completely free. I'll drop that link right below the like button so you can do that. They also have a Discord channel so you can ask the devs any questions that you may have and receive any announcements about the app. And they have their entire roadmap on their website. And for those wondering, Sunbird is supported worldwide. So no matter what country you live in, you can access it. In the future, when the app is much more polished and feature packed, I'll be sure to make an updated video on this app. So be sure to get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so that you don't miss out on that. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Sunbird messaging app. For its first alpha release, they've definitely gone above and beyond. And sure, there's still a lot to be done, but I'm very excited to see what updates they release next. Either way, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it to be informative and fascinating, be sure to drop a thumbs up to show your support. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon for a chance at getting those beautiful new widgets and my new app. If you'd like to purchase an iPhone or a great Android device like the Pixel 7 Pro used in this video, I'll be sure to tag them within this video. Thanks to the YouTube product tag feature sponsored by YouTube themselves. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!